Welcome to episode 192 of the Radio Control Show, sponsored by amyandhobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. How's it going, everybody? We're out here today at Wolcott Hobbies in Waterbury, Connecticut, checking out the new Atomic Brian Deegan Metal Militia Short Course Truck. This, this truck's an A-scale truck with a fully licensed body. It looks just like the Metal Militia truck Brian drives in the Lucas Oil Series. Under the hood, you can see that this truck comes fully ready to run. For power, it's got an Atomic 2400 kilovolt four-pole brushless motor. The speed control has a built-in fan to keep it nice and cool. And for electricity, it's got an 11.1 LiPo pack included with it. On both the front and back, you'll see that there's some aluminum shock towers with big bore aluminum cap shocks. The truck comes with a 2.4 gigahertz radio to control it. It's all based on an A-scale platform, but you can see that it's got a molded chassis to make it extra rigid and aluminum shock towers that hold on to some pretty big, big bore shocks. Let's check it out on the track. For this week's tech tip, let's go to Jerry Yarish for some insight on the proper care and use of an often neglected piece of flight line equipment, your electric engine starter. For this week's tech tip, let's take a look at something we all use at the RC flying field, and that being the RC electric airplane engine starter. It's a really simple device, but you want to use it carefully and you want to maintain it so it lasts a long time. Uh, when we uh, look at one and we want to make sure it's operating good, we we'll start at the front, work our way back. You want to make sure that the cone section isn't damaged. You want to make sure that the rubber insert is pressed all the way in as far as it'll go. And that way it'll run true when you put it on your airplane. In between the cone section and the body, there's a little space where the output shaft is. Always want to check that and make sure that there's no dirt or debris there. And also, I like to uh, use a little bit of lightweight uh, oil, engine oil, and put a few drops in there and keep that front bearing nice, nicely lubed so you can keep corrosion to the minimum. Right next to them here, there's two nuts and bolts in the front and two in the back of the case. And you wanna make sure that these are tight because it holds the whole case together and that'll minimize any end play, which would uh, cause the electric motor itself to wear out. You wanna check and make sure that the power cord doesn't have any nicks, it isn't cut, and you also want to make sure that the uh, spring clips at the end are clean, uh, not corroded, and that they're working properly so you have good contact with your battery. As far as maintenance goes, you always want to make sure that the uh, uh, on-off switch that's inside this rubber boot works properly. You push in and the engine uh, electric starter starts and when you let go it stops. Some of the things that you don't want to do is you don't want to just throw it on the ground when your airplane's ready to fly. You want to make sure that you put it back into your uh, uh, field box or your engine tote, whatever you have. Keep it off the ground, keep it out of moist grass and it's all just going to cause corrosion and that's never a good thing. So that's it for electric starters. Maintain it, keep it clean, and it'll give you a lifetime of effortless engine starts. For your batteries to provide maximum performance, a battery checker is a must have. The high-tech LiPo checker operates on power supplied from the connected battery and can check the condition of two to six cell LiPo packs. When connected, it displays the voltage of each individual cell and also the remaining capacity. If that isn't enough, this little tool also works as a balancer to equalize your packs for maximum performance. Priced under 20 bucks, the high-tech LiPo checker includes an adapter for thunder power and flight power style plug, making it perfect for evaluating your packs before and after each flight or run, and is a great addition to anyone's box. We'll never look at Legos the same way again. Ed Scott, along with his sons Nicholas and Christopher, get the credit for building this unique building block flyer. 
Equipped with a GoPro camera, a first-person view video transmitter, and even a GPS navigation system, this LEGO quadcopter is definitely not a toy. Head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the March issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplay News. Or get it now on AirAgeStore.com, iTunes, or BarnesandNoble.com. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. 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 Reminisce back when I used to watch that thriller Over and over I used to chill I was the only seed But watching Fraggle Rock was my only need I used to play ball right down the street 22 before Emmy